Now, everything that we've done so far is kind of centered on starting a new account with Proton. But what if you already have an email account elsewhere, most notably a Gmail one? Well, in the next couple of sections, I'm gonna look at forwarding email from a Gmail account to your Proton one. And then we're gonna look at importing your Gmail account in its entirety to Proton Mail. So first, forwarding. And I'm gonna set this up from the web interface to switch up a little. I'm gonna make my way into all settings. Then come down here to import via easy switch. So here we have the two topics that I want to cover. So at the top, we can set up forwarding from Gmail to Proton. So let's click to start that. From here, I need to click on sign in with Google. And I'm gonna use Barry's account that I'm already signed in with here as a demo. So I'll click continue. Now, of course, we need to give permission for Proton to access the Google account. So I'll check this here, then come down to the bottom and click continue. It's signing in and there's a pop-up at the bottom telling us that forwarding is gonna start soon. Okay, I'm gonna give this a few minutes and then we're gonna test this out. Okay, on the left, we have my Proton Mail demo and on the right, my iPhone is signed in to my regular Screencast Online email account which is on Fastmail currently. I may switch this to Proton, we shall see. But on the right, my iPhone is gonna send an email to Barry's Gmail account, which should mean that we see it forward to my demo Proton account when it synchronizes. Now there are already some emails that have forwarded. So when I signed into Barry's account from another device, it generated an alert email to Barry, which I can see has forwarded here to Proton. So the forwarding is working but let's see it live. I'm going to tap to send. The email has gone. Okay, I just tidied up the desktop there to remove the phone and I'm waiting on a synchronization between the desktop and the web service right now. But I'll force it by clicking on this sync button. And there we are, we can see the email forwarded okay. So if you do want to forward emails into Proton from Gmail, this is how to do it. You may, however, want to import your entire account into Proton Mail from Gmail, and that's achievable too. Now, this isn't something that I've actually done myself as I don't have too many demo Gmail accounts to use. So I'm interested to see how this turns out. So I've created some labels down here, just so that I can see if these replicate when they come across. Some are nested, some aren't. And if I come across to calendar, I just created one event here, again, to see if that comes across okay. And then down here under contacts, I created this contact, which has the imaginative name of Gmail contact. And these are the core things, along with all the mail, of course, that I'd expect to import effectively. So I'll switch back across into the Proton Mail settings, which is already in the import via easy switch section. And then down here under one time import, we can see it says bring your messages, contacts, and calendars to Proton. We can import from Google, Yahoo, Outlook, or another service, but I'll demo this with Google. I'm asked exactly what I'd like to import, so all three of these. It says I need to sign into the Google account next, which makes complete sense, of course. So I'll just quickly do the next, next finish on all of these to accept them and sign in giving permission. Okay, what do we have here? Well, there is something that needs to be fixed. It says that some of the labels I have set up are already reserved in Proton Mail, so I need to change them. Okay, that makes sense. So I'll click Customize here. And on the left, you can see the Gmail label and on the right, how it's gonna look in Proton Mail. So this snoozed one, well, that's causing a problem, um, but I don't need to import any snoozed mail as I don't actually have any. So I'm just gonna remove this label from coming across. And then down here, I can see how the new labels will look. So where I have these tech ones currently nested, it doesn't look like they're gonna be nested in ProtonMail. They just have the name of the parent and the child squished together as the new label name. So I'll save this. And the warning message has now gone. So I'm importing 14 out of 15 labels. And I'll click Start Import. Okay, the import's in progress and now we wait. Right, it's so a few minutes later and Proton is still importing the messages. This number is rising here. 
However, I do have a couple of emails saying that the contacts and the calendar are complete. So let's click calendar. I can see the new calendar has appeared. It's in green and there is the event that I created. So that's imported OK. Now the contacts have reportedly come across as well. So I'll click and there indeed is the Gmail contact. So just waiting for the mail messages to finish now. OK, the email is in telling us that the messages have imported. So how does this look? Well, in the body of the message, it tells us the size of the import, how many messages were imported and the number of labels and or folders. And if I come down to the labels, no surprises here because we saw earlier they're not nested. They are going to be individual. So I will need to go in and edit these to get them named how I would like. But everything's imported across. It didn't take long. Admittedly, though, this was a very small mailbox.